I'm Avery, and this is a signature shot that I'd like to share with you. This is um, what I think a lot of people would call a moulinet, and this is a, a particular variation of the moulinet that's very effective for me. So what circumstances is this effective in? Anytime one of my opponents is perhaps fighting with a great weapon, say they've got a long sword, imagine it longer, or maybe a pole weapon, if they're fighting with two weapons, anytime they basically got a good vertical defense, especially, say this is a spear, they're doing this with their spear, block stab, that sort of thing, it's to target this center line. So the Moulinet works really well against those folks. Little less well against someone who's fighting with a shield because the center line is covered up, but it's still pretty effective if you get there. So if we have time at the end of the video, I'll cover that as well. So the Moulinet, how does it work? Um, Duke Sean described it once pretty uh, gracefully, in my opinion. Oh. Anytime your tip is low and your handle's high, you can do a moulinet. So, the blow, the way I would throw this blow, uh, is usually from a bit of a forward stance, but you can do it from a rear guard as well. And from here, it simply looks like this to the opponent. The hand comes down, the tip projects forward, and the arm comes up. And the sequence of that matters. So I'm going to come real close. This is what your opponent might see, right? So here, there. That's it. Actually, that's a pretty short opponent. It would look more like there because the camera's a little low. So about that, right? Now, what you're not seeing, you're seeing this, right? What you're not seeing is this coming down from on top. The reason for that is anyone who has time to react, whether they're fighting with two swords in this position or maybe they're fighting sort of on Sjorn style, if they can get the tip of their weapon engaged, they can block a shot coming straight down. Instead of coming straight down, it projects forward into the middle line. It's not a thrust, it's still gonna hit with the edge, but it hits with the edge down here by the tip. So it goes like that. Now, one of the things, I had real trouble throwing this blow when it was first taught to me when I was a new fighter. So you can practice it, you're not gonna try to chop the sides of your pelt, you're trying to get right into the center, right? So you imagine getting underneath someone's guard like this. If they've got that boxer style, you're trying to get into the gap. The way you get into the gap is by not hitting up here. You keep the sword short and it projects forward. Again, not a thrust, it, it comes straight down. So as a new fighter, I had real trouble figuring this one out until the thing that worked for me, uh, Yoshi suggested, pretend I'm poking the top of their shield with my pommel and pulling the shield down like this. You don't. But that feel is that rotation. So when you pull down on the hand, the sword rotates around the center of gravity, right there. So you pull down and then let it go forward, right? And you can keep a pretty hammer grip the whole time. You can open up the bottom of the hand a little bit for more range. So again, the moulinet cuts down and into that slot. If they're fighting in any sort of A guard, including with a second weapon. If they've got their sword and their spear, sort of vertical like this, this is a threatening area because everyone's used to blocking attacks from the side and any weapon like this, any pole arm, it's relatively trivial to parry shots from the side, but one that comes straight in is tough, especially if it comes forward, as opposed to following your weapon as it's tipped forward. So that's the concept of the Moulinet. I promised a little discussion about more advanced Moulinet techniques. So can you throw it from back here? Yes, you bring the hand forward, and then do your moulinet, right? So you can go, bam, right into the center line. And it's the hand movement and the tip and gripping at the end that drives the power. You might do a little body sink, but it's not really driven from the hips the way I throw it. Easy to modify, you get to about here, they come open up there, moulinet here. So you can move the hand wherever you want as long as you're rotating. That's also a moulinet, though it looks like a snap. So this is getting into the advanced part. How do you hit someone who's got a shield covering their midline with a moulinet, right? If I'm like this, how do you hit me? Well, it's not about what your eyes can see, it's what the hand can see. And moulinet is a particularly good shot for allowing the hand to attack whatever it can see. So imagine the shield's here like this. I can't hit that middle line from my middle line. But the mechanics of the moulinet work just as well if I throw it here it works just as well if I bend the wrist and move my hand, I can throw the moulinet here. So you come around the corner. So instead of straight down, I can come in like that. Hands here. Hands across my body, and I can still strike around that shield edge. Bam. 
And even notice how I'm keeping the tip low. So if they've got a sword block or something here, I miss that. I miss the tip of their weapon and get in behind the shield. You can do that on the fade. This way is the intuitive way, right? You go this way, you're moving your body, but you actually don't need to. I like to go the opposite direction. Not that there's a lot of room here, so I'm going to adjust. But let's say we're square off now. If I want to throw behind that shield, I throw here. My hand is still across my body, but they follow potentially opening their shield up. So there you go, bread and butter. How do you counter it? Protect your middle line. If you're fighting with a great weapon, recognize you've usually got maybe quillions or something to protect you a little bit here. If you're fighting with a spear in your hand, like this, get, the, get used to bringing your hand in front of your body to protect here, as opposed to always being out to block. If you're fighting sword and shield, uh, just chop them in the arm if they try this stuff, right? If they end up in this position, just chop them in the arm. Um, unless you're, you know, someone who thinks arm hunting is bad, in which case hit them in the head, but block. <laughs> I would move back a little bit against the Moulinet as well, because when they get out of range, it just hits with a tip. Last pro tip, you can do a thrust into a Moulinet really easy. So the other thing that people who fight like this, or like this hate, they love it when you throw to the outside. They hate when you stab them, because it's hard to defend a stab like this. And they hate when you Moulinet. So do both. Bam, bam. There you go. Bread and butter.